It started with the scampi, rammed so tight in the ramekin that I could barely tease the first tail out. The first briny bite was great and garlicky. But little did I realize what I had begun. Like tugging some magician's handkerchief, the crustaceans just kept coming. An endless stream of shellfish everywhere I looked. They were festooned on every cocktail the waitress brought, swimming in every sauce, piled on every piping hot platter. It was all I could eat, and eventually I cried no more and went to pay my bill. But the shrimp kept coming. They spilled out of my wallet when I opened it, like a gaggle in a net slopped on deck. When I snatched a fistful of dollar bills, black eyes and red tails squirted between my fingers. Even as I walked to my car, I scratched my ear and a tiny bay shrimp slickered out, pink as a squirming fetus, dropping onto the shoulder of my golden blazer like a dead bird. I swiped it off, and a mass of writhing shrimp poured out from my slimy armpits. I stared at the growing pile of shrimp at my feet and marveled at the smell before I felt more of the tiny tads, at least 19, shooting one bug-eyed bullet after the other right out of my nose. The prawns were piling higher and higher around me, and the other people in the parking lot, too, all of us trapped, stunned by the sudden rising sea of sea creatures spouting spontaneously from every orifice. I saw cars squishing into the tidal wave of red shrimp spreading down the street as the flood rose up to meet the red lobster sign like the sail of some sinking ship, and many castaways were pulled under the surface around me as I struggled not to drown in their carapacious currents. It was all I could eat. Oh. It was all I could eat.